Hey, everybody, and welcome to Stuck in a Truck. It's another live episode here in uh, Maryland, and we are going to be talking about something that has been coming up a lot lately, news, media, you know, everything. And uh, so, like always, I have to start off every episode. Thank you for liking, loving, sharing, subscribing, sending out those those big uh, thumbs up on YouTube. Appreciate every bit of it. And, you know, I think this is going to be that that episode that I think – I hope it has a good impact on you. I really hope you take it to the next tier and I hope that you share with all your friends and family because this again is what we're doing this for what, or what I'm doing this for is to create a community, like-minded people that are looking to get to the next level, the next tier and the next point of their life. You know, it's not just about dog training or business or, or anything like that. It's about being a leader. It's about being, uh, you know, the person that people, other people can look to for guidance and what is the next step to get to where they need to be? And a few things came up very recently. You know, you you get on the news, the media, and they're constantly, uh, you know, knocking things or or whatever it is. And I always tell people is like, just shut it off. You don't need to listen or watch the news to find out how it has an effect in your life. I mean, honestly, you know, your life is your life. You need to look at it that way. But more importantly. It's we also have to realize that the community is us. It's close to people near you, around you, the people that you're connecting with. And in life and business, it's all sort of like one and the same. You know, if you want to have a successful company, if you want to be a leader within your own in where you work, if you want to drive that ultimate force that's moving forward and having that lifestyle like no uh, nobody else in a sense. You know, you have to start off by realizing there's a, a good bit of community out there and there's a level of blinders that is necessary to get there. And what I mean by blinders is that you have to stop looking at face value of things. And, and a lot of times I like to call it the curtain effect. I mean, if you really get to know me and you're around me a lot, you'll hear me talk about the curtain effect often uh, because the curtain effect is where we see the veneer, we see the the falsity, we only see what that one little spot. And you want to look behind the curtain, like you know, when you go to a play or you see something on stage, you know, it's it's very different behind the scenes, as they say. That's why even like when you watch DVDs now, they come uh, with the behind the scenes because you're curious on what is going behind it. So with today's thing. Uh, you know, I, I want to show you something. So right now I have a plate and this is a little bit like of a joint exercise. And I'm going to ask everybody if you have the ability to partake to this or try it later. It's fine with me. But I want you to do is you just take a plate, any old plate. Uh, it could be a paper plate for all it matters. OK. And what I'm going to ask you to do, really simple task, right? We're going to take some salt right here and I'm going to put some salt all over this plate and I'm going to mix it around. And I got some salt all over the plate. Then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pepper and I'm going to place this pepper and I'm going to spread it into my plate. Just, just all around real simple thing. Now, whoever's partaking at home and if you, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor and separate the salt and the pepper on the plate. And I, I can wait for you, but I bet you're thinking you can't do it. And I'm going to tell you right now, you can't. We're all on this plate. It doesn't matter. It's salt, pepper. It doesn't matter the color, the shape. The truth be told is we're all in it together. And the craziest thing about it is we're all seasoning. It's all together. And put together makes a phenomenal flavor. And when you really think about when you just get past the difference between salt and pepper and you start to realize that combining the two you can learn and feel and taste so much more and if you look past the curtain and you join up the food gets so much better the experience gets so much better the plate starts to really come together the message simply today is this Everybody around you has something great to offer. Stop shunning them, shining them, and, and pushing them away when the truth be told is collectively, you can conquer everything and anything. So please stop falling victim to dumb shit and start looking at all your neighbors and your community as a wholehearted connection and growth 
because it's an amazing feature when you start looking at the people next to you and realizing that together you guys can grow to utmost levels. So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed my little thing and I hope you try it at home. But I guarantee you, it's better to taste that seasoning and enjoy it than it's ever going to be to try to separate it. Thank you guys and I'll see you all next week.